the shambly rapid by frank oliver call read for LibriVox.org. there's a spirit in the rapid calling calling through the night there's a gleam upon the water burning pale and burning bright woe to him who hears the calling woe to him who sees the light my son and i had left st jean our paddles dipping in the blue and many miles to north had gone along the silent richelieu the night came down we thought of rest a threatening cloud hung in the west no warning sound the river made save for the rapids muffled roar as neath the pine trees deepening shade we camped upon that luckless shore no sound the night wind bore to me save one weird echo from chambly the night grew dark and darker still the pale-faced moon was hid from sight when o'er the waters black and chill we saw a ghastly gleaming light a fitful fire pale and blue that burned my inmost spirit through and like some baleful gleaming eye it shone beneath night's heavy pall then high above the loon's lone cry afar we heard the spirit call it called us from the other shore ah oh, jean will never hear it more i could not seize or hold him back for while the light burned pale and blue a heavy hand from out the black held me beside my own canoe and ere i stirred the other bark had silent sped into the dark adown the river's drifting tide to where the wild mad rapids run past pine trees towering on each side his frail canoe had drifted on he did not look to left or right but gazed upon that hell-born light and ever swifter with the flow he drifted where the rapids play his eyes still on that awful glow ah god my life seemed snatched away i saw a gleam far up the sky and heard the echo of a cry there's a spirit in the rapid calling calling through the night there's a gleam upon the water burning pale and burning bright woe to him who hears the calling woe to him who sees the light end of poem this recording is in the public domain